Everybody, a welcome in. Let's get into this a very awkward a call with Letitia Stauk and her daughter, a Harley. This call is actually nine months after Gannon went missing, October a twenty a twenty. And let's a listen. Hey, sorry, I know you're probably sleeping, but I just not gonna come in. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing sleeping? Yeah. I was like, you know, God is calling me. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oh my God, because I kept looking all day. I was like, oh, do y'all get a call caller? Do y'all get a call caller? <laughs> I was like, oh, now I finally get to go out and call her. And I was like, oh my God, it's like 1.30. <laughs> but anyway, I just thought I'd call you real quick. I know you um. I'm going to go back to bed, but I just want to tell you I love you. Thank you, too. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good night. Good night. How strange and awkward was that phone call? And if that was not weird enough, let's listen to another phone call a couple of weeks later. And listen how Letitia talks to Harley about her wanting to write a book. A very strange dynamics between Letitia and Harley. In the hee hee, I just, I am not sure that Letitia Stout feels a feelings. Kaz and I were talking earlier and she uh, might be the definition of the a uh, perfect a uh, psychopath. And uh, let's uh, listen. Hi. 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 And pizza. Pizza? Mm-hmm. Do you know what? Hibachi or something. Oh, I wish. You know, that's how you got your little Chinese eyes. Because you always have. I am me. Tutor wanted to do math. <laughs> oh, 
Good morning. I am only going to interrupt this one time, but you think about the fact that you have been arrested at this point for the murder of your stepson and your daughter's talking on the phone and everything she says you just come back with you can't do that you don't celebrate halloween it's so in the silence is just is so peculiar but i did not take the silence out of these clips so that you could get the full effect of just how awkward these calls are and uh, let's continue until the end So I named my book. What? What did you name it? Apparently, I named it Figurine. What do you mean? Uh, you'll you'll understand when you read it. <laughs> I don't. Why would you be one of the first people to read it? Besides my publisher <laughs> or my editor, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that gonna be? I mean, I mean, not anytime soon, but you know. So Wait, basically. like you finished? You finished it, or you just finished the name or made up the name? Uh, I think it's like a, eighty some pages, but I just now uh, went back and read them all over the last couple of days. I mean, I don't know what eighty some pages on a notebook paper means. That could probably be like one hundred fifty pages total. You know what I mean? Because mm. those pages are like small in a book. But yeah. Mm. But that is my, um, apparently, this is my um, separate book from my biblical book. <laughs> uh, Miss, um, Charlotte's mom came up with the whole idea for me to write a book. And she gave me every single topic I should do and exactly what I should write on. <laughs> oh, okay. But you can't write. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I can't write. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know about that one. I don't know if she was really thinking about that part. About the non-writing. Mom can write really good. Yeah. These people be having me write all these kinds of stuff. Like, this one girl was like, Did you write this for me? I need to melt this off. That's all. I'm like, Okay, cool. I like letters. So, like, I don't know why, but these people be wanting to write, like, uh, judges and, like, uh, justices and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know why you want to write them, but okay. And so, like, Tell me what you want to say. They tell me, like, all about crazy stuff, and I'm like, are you sure you want me to write this? Okay. So there's probably going to be, like, this mm. mass uh, amount of mail go out to these people, and they're going to be like, wow, this person surely got smart. You have one minute remaining. No, it was out of my money, but I only had, like, 50 cents on my answer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not I got some of mine. I just know that whenever the free calls start, I think it might start in a few days. But anyway, well, I just want to tell you a little bit before things open up for you, but okay. tomorrow on, on the account. Tomorrow. Okay. But you've mailed those books, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you so much. Tell everyone to Love you too. Well, we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Tell me how weird that was. Harley does sound like a sweet girl. The church, she's going and doing the lock-ins, the Halloween pumpkin painting, and Leticia doesn't have one a positive thing to say to Harley. And once again, again, and it's never a mention or that situation. But she does talk about a book that she wrote. We are going to get into that book on the next video with Aunt Katrina, but now I need to find out who Aunt Katrina is and put her in Letitia Stelk's A Family Tree. And let me jump over and touch on a few comments. One I found very interesting, and then we will go ahead and wrap it up. This one from Emily, a 6000. Be careful getting in contact with the demon. Another creator went 
went onto some app where you can talk to the inmates and Letitia Stelk was very manipulative and used a one creator to spew disgusting a narrative about Gannon. Letitia made up a horrible lie as for the reason she offed him. She knew the creator would read her letter on her channel so she used that as airtime to taunt the audience, shaking on my effing head. She basically said, none of us know what we were talking about and she has everything she wants in there and basically it is no punishment for her the creator had to cut ties because she knew she was being used for Letitia to spread of her a demonic energy shaking my head i would actually like to see that letter if it is still up on that creator's channel if it is if you could email us at monkey mar true crime at gmail i would greatly appreciate it and this is a comment from jess imperfectly a perfect a true crime 3611 her aunt wasn't even phased when leticia said that nine people tried to kill her auntie skipped right over that and went right to the next topic another funny thing was when auntie was talking about her new place a little two bedroom two bath leticia got herself a little one room two bed bunk bed style it comes with a steel sink toilet combo soon she'll have her a padded room for life psychopath leticia is still a, such a dreamer except she's never waking up from this nightmare she created for herself and poor ganon and his family she definitely feels entitled as usual unreal a shaking my head she wants to be found insane to justify what she's done to ganon just to clarify leticia is five nuggets short of a six piece always has been and she sure is a nutter butter. And one more. Where is that one I want to touch on right here? Green Man, a 141. Nine people tried to kill her. And let's see. Wasn't she essayed by someone with a non-existent Hispanic sounding name? Because it wouldn't do to leave out a big dose of racism. And her then husband's colleagues in Alaska also essayed her. I believe she claims poor little Tisha still always the victim and never that's child a torturer and murderer i agree 100 percent. but there was a face to the name i think she got him like out of an article a news article i am not sure but this is the man that's a name she used but with that guys it is a wrap everybody i thank you for coming in please make sure you click that like the subscribe and the bell for notifications so you do not miss the next time we drop a video and or a go live. Everybody, I have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world and stay a vigilant. I am out.